Good morning. I wasn't planning to be your speaker this morning, uh, but the program that we had scheduled didn't come through, so I'm filling in. Uh, I don't have a talk for you, and you get to hear me enough anyway. Um, and, and besides that, there are 40 or 50 people who aren't here this morning because they're taking AP exams, and I don't want you all to feel left out. So instead of a talk, what I have this morning is a little AP exam for everybody that I hope you will enjoy. The subject of the exam is doors. It has 11 questions. So the first question is, who lives behind this door? The Hobbit. The Hobbit. What a great group you are. The second question is, in what great city of the world can you find this door? I heard it. Speak up. Beijing. OK. 100% so far. Third question, what fictional character lives at this address? I, I, I hear it. Sherlock Holmes, excellent. Sherlock Holmes. The fourth question. This is the door to a famously beautiful building, sometimes called the most beautiful building in the world. What is the building? I heard it. Who said it? The Taj Mahal, excellent. We're, we're four for four. Fifth question. Fifth question. This door, hey guys, this door in Italy was named the Gates of Paradise by a very famous artist. Who was that famous artist? Picasso. It, it, it begins with M. You got it. <clears throat> Sixth question. Sixth question. This door is one of the gates in the old wall of Jerusalem. How many gates altogether does the old wall of Jerusalem have? How many? Eight. You got it, eight. Of the eight gates, of the eight gates to the city of Jerusalem, one is permanently sealed and the other seven are open. Uh, the seventh question, where, do you, where can you get to through this door? Anywhere. Anywhere. Excellent. Eighth question. In what country, in what country that we have an exchange program to, would you find this beautiful door? Morocco. Morocco. Right. OK, you're eight for eight. Now. The last three questions, there are no images on the screen, and these are questions for you to answer individually and silently. Got it? You all know what silently means. Okay, so when you have your answer, I invite you to raise your hand, but not speak your answer. So the ninth question, is there a door in your experience that makes you happy when you think of it? And where is it? When you have an answer, I invite you to raise your hand. I see a couple, I see a few people who are brave enough to raise a hand. Okay. The 10th question. Same thing, silent answer. Is there a door you wish you could close and lock and throw away the key? <laughs> Jada's got her hand up. <laughs> OK. The 11th question. 
and the most important one. This one you should all know the answer to in your heart. Where is the door to the most meaningful experience of life? If you know the answer, or if you have an answer, raise your hand. Ben's got an answer. I only see three hands. Four, five. OK. If you notice, if you notice, there are asterisks at the bottom of this question, and you see there's a reward. Now, if you have the right answer in your mind, the reward will come to you. That's the way this works. If you get the right answer to this question in your mind, the reward comes to you. Now, it may not come when you're expecting it. It might come right now, it might come tomorrow, it might come 10 years from now, it might come 20 years from now. So keep watch and stay tuned. Uh, this is the conclusion of our AP Doors exam. Congratulations, you all scored a five. You did extremely well. God bless you and thank you for your attention.